Aloha, it's Lola. I am here to give you an update on what it's like to travel to Chicago in 2022. So if you're planning on visiting the Windy City in 2022, here's what you need to know first. Effective February 28, 2022, the City of Chicago has removed its mask requirements for most indoor and outdoor settings. All individuals, regardless of vaccination status, will still be required to wear masks in the following settings. Those settings are places where it's federally mandated, on planes, buses, trains, and general public transportation settings, in all healthcare settings, and in select additional congregate facilities, meaning places where people are congregating in large amounts. So you'll have to check for specific rules depending on where you're going. This is a general guideline, but certain private property establishments still can enforce their own mask mandates. People with symptoms, a positive test, or who have been exposed to someone with an illness should wear a mask at all times when around other people. There is currently a travel advisory still in place for the city of Chicago. This map on the screen will show you the states and territories where the travel advisory is still in effect if you're coming to Chicago. So if you're coming from a state or territory in the yellow category, you are good to go. However, if you're coming from a state or territory in the orange category, you will be under this following travel advisory. Under the advisory, all unvaccinated travelers should get a test before and after arriving to Chicago and also should quarantine for five days upon arrival. For domestic travel, the current vaccine and quarantine guidelines do not apply to those who are fully vaccinated. Due to the delay for the approval of vaccines for children under five, they are exempt from the travel advisory as long as they're traveling with adults who are fully vaccinated. In order for a state or territory to be removed from this travel advisory, it must have a daily case rate of 15 or fewer for two consecutive weeks. Currently, Illinois' daily case rate is so this is looking really good. Numbers are really low. And let's just cross our fingers that nothing comes and shakes that up and we can continue to open up and live life. For international travel, the US CDC requires that everyone, regardless of vaccination and citizenship status, receive a negative test no more than one day. If you test positive, you should isolate for at least five days from the date of your positive test if you are not experiencing symptoms. If you are experiencing symptoms, you should isolate five days beginning the day you first experience symptoms. Interestingly, the website did say that if you are unable to quarantine, you should wear a mask for 10 days when around other people. But if you're unable to wear a mask, you should isolate for 10 days. So I would say just do your best following the guidelines to the best of your ability and keeping in mind the health of everyone around you. All those guidelines being said, do keep in mind that private establishments are allowed to enforce their own mask rules. So just as a general rule, you should just keep one with you so that you can partake in activities and not have to worry about being turned away because you don't have a mask with you. All right, so now on to the fun stuff. What can we do in Chicago? What can't we do? I will go down the list of things that I've checked out as well as some other things that are recommended that I'm looking for to checking out next time I'm there. If you're into plants like I am, make sure to check out the Garfield Conservatory. I went there this past winter. It was so cool. It's a greenhouse. It's got so many different types of plants from succulents to tropical plants. I don't know how to describe it other than plant lovers paradise. All right, so another really cool activity to do if you're into history and or art is to check out one of the many museums available. I actually went to the Field Museum. It was so cool. There was a whole Egypt section. I saw some mummies, which was kind of creepy, but kind of cool. There were dinosaurs. There were gems. There was a human sculpture exhibit. There was just so much to see. I'm definitely gonna have to go back because there's no way you could get all of it done in a couple of hours. I think that could even be a whole day event, honestly, if you really wanna take everything in. I hear they have some really awesome museums aside from the one that I saw. So definitely, if you have enough time in your trip, at least check one of those museums off of your list. However, if you do like being outdoors, of course, there are several parks you can check out. The Chicago Botanic Garden is especially cool in the winter time when it's still snowing. So I would say definitely check out the Botanic Garden either if it's snowing or once the flowers and plants are in full color because I think in between it might 
be a little bit dull. There are also Segway tours and bus tours and boat tours. Again, there's just so much to do. I'm just really looking forward to going back and the next time I go there, I'm sure there will be a lot to do where I won't have to wear a mask, so that's exciting. Going back to some indoor activities, there actually are some shows you can check out. In fact, there are quite a few shows, not only theater, but music shows, concerts, etc. Another really cool thing to check out is a play or a musical. I went and saw a holiday play back in December and it was really well done. The set design was awesome. The actors were really great. There was actually a black Scrooge, which I've never seen before. The cast was really diverse. It was so cool and the actors were just, just really great at what they did and I enjoyed it. Okay, going back to outdoor activities, my all-time favorite, the Maggie Daily Ice Skating Ribbon. There are other activities you can do in that area, like rock climbing, there's a little kid's playground, and then right around the corner is the Bean. It's an iconic spot to take photos. It's an art installation. Going back to an indoor activity, the John Hancock Center is another cool thing to check out. It's a really beautiful views of the city and over Lake Michigan. It's just a thing you should do at least one time and they also have an attraction called the tilt you hold on to bars and it tilts you forward so you can look down and see the city so if you're a thrill seeker that's something cool to check out going back to an outdoor activity the ferris wheel very cool views and make sure that you check ahead of time what the pricing is and the availability on windy days, they do shut it down for safety reasons, of course, but it's definitely another thing worth checking out. And then, of course, in addition to all of the activities, the architecture, as I mentioned in a previous video, is really beautiful. If you like architecture specifically, definitely walk around uh, in the safe areas and you will not be disappointed. I thought that the churches there and all of the different buildings from different time periods were really really cool to see and something that I'm not used to from where I grew up and where I live now. Now traveling throughout Chicago you will also see various art installations outdoors not just the Bean but in various other locations too so keep your eyes peeled if you're a passenger. Last but certainly not least is all of the breweries and restaurants. I'm vegan and I had no shortage of vegan options so I can only imagine what options there are for people who aren't plant-based. Just so much good food, like everything I ate there was really, really good. Basically, there's just so many things I cannot list them all, so you're just gonna have to go and check it out yourself. Make sure to follow up with the CDC guidelines just in case any new developments happen. All right, I hope that helped and enjoy your time in Chicago.